night, pottery peeps. So I got the totem done, and I have to tell you, I have enjoyed this project so much. I can't wait to do the next one. Also, to give you an update on the hubby, uh, MRI came back with no infection in the bone, and he lost his pick line, and they, the wound specialist said he should be good in about two weeks. <laughs> so, fingers crossed, because there's a lot of chores to do around here since it's been about two and a half months um, getting him literally back on his feet. So I want to thank everybody for um, your healing thoughts and prayers. Um, it, it, I'm just so grateful for um, all of you reaching out and uh, telling me that he's in your thoughts and prayers. Um, I just really appreciate that. I, I just love this community that um, we're developing. Anyway, um, let's get to, I, I spent all week putting this totem together. Uh, mainly because um, I had to do it in pieces and I learned a lot on the way which I'm going to share in the video that I captured. Um, so when you make your own, you um, hopefully don't have to do the stumbling blocks that I did. Anyway, um, I started out with silicone and quickly realized that I needed to change to the E6000 epoxy glue. And so that delayed everything because using that glue, it needs time to set up. And so I would do a couple of pieces a night, basically, and then um, finished it um, last night, but I didn't, it got dark and I didn't get the final uh, video clip. And then today's been crazy and um, I got too many shadows. So I'm literally waiting for the sun to set down a little bit so I can do a final video and show you what it actually looks like. So let's get to it. My son Montgomery um, helped me level a space and I did pick up a couple of bricks down at um, the hardware store and I left the middle open because I'm going to where you'll see here in a minute I wanted something to stabilize uh, the pottery totem because it was quite tall it actually started out at 72 inches six feet and it ended um, around five so it shrank that much but I needed first a level base and I didn't want it sitting on the ground so as you can see he's using that level backwards and forwards um, on each forward and back to make sure that it's um, level. I highly recommend you take the time to do this because <laughs> um, if it's not level then um, you'll have problems going forward. Montgomery was a huge help um, helping me with this. Um, first of all there's no way I can bend my knees like that right now. <laughs> hopefully in the future, but, um, and then he'll hammer that rebar in for me too. He was great. I bought a piece of rebar and it came in 10 feet. And so we cut a couple of feet off to start with until we had the final measurement. Then we um, <laughs> hammered that rebar into the ground and uh, it's not very um, scientific, but we used my eyebrows as a measuring. <laughs> <laughs> That's how tall he wanted it. Then we covered it with um, some PVC pipe and, so that the metal of the rebar didn't bang against the pottery because we do get quite a lot of wind here. And since I'm at the mouth of the canyon, we get canyon winds every night. So, And then uh, leveling that first piece backwards and forwards again and adjusting as we need to. And this is where I found out that the silicone wasn't going to work as an adhesive. Um, for one thing, the silicone had too much stretch in it, so it's going to work great for um, keeping water out and ice. I'm more worried about snow and ice than I am anything else. So it'll work great for that, and I do plan to silicone all the joints really well, clean them up after. But after that first night, I knew I couldn't get it any further without trying um, a different step, so I had to think about it. This was the next morning, and it looks so pretty already. Changed gears a little bit. Um, as you know, everything shrinks in the drying, um, in the bis fire, and then in the glaze fire. And things like this um, morph a little bit. And so they don't necessarily fit the way you'd hoped. So I am going to take the E6000 since I have so many, let me lower you down. Since I have so many of the little parts to put together, before I put them on the um, 
before I string them together, I figured it would be a good idea to basically glue them together with this. Make sure they're level as I'm gluing them. Let them sit up and then I have bigger pieces like this one. Um, I, of course, you know, won't glue anything to it. Um, but, and this one I won't. But all of these little pieces that are going to go on top of each other, like, you know, this, it'll be easier to spend the time to glue them together, let them set up, and then put them on the string them on. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm glad I made all the little pieces. I didn't end up using them all. But um, I'm going to hold on to them because I do plan on making um, some more totems. In fact, um, I asked my daughters to kind of reel me in. I didn't want my yard to get too tacky. They, so they're on board to make sure I don't get tacky. <laughs> I got to stay just this side of tacky. A little bit more artsy versus tacky. I can do artsy hippie, but um, can't go to the tacky. So that's um, their job. But I'm going to keep all those little pieces so that I can use them for future totems. I did let these guys set up for 24 to 48 hours. Uh, I was teaching classes, so it was good to let them set up. And this, I believe, is Thursday? Yes. This is Thursday, and I'm putting on the main piece um, and gluing it, making sure that it's level. I did go ahead and silicone, which I learned um, to let the epoxy set up and not add the silicone. Silicone will keep the epoxy from setting up. <laughs> And then got main pieces. The only piece I didn't have was the top. And uh, so I did that last night where I took my grinder, grinded through the rebar and the PVC pipe. And then I taped it in place overnight so it could set up. Okay, sun just set. I have a few minutes where I don't have any shadows and I still have the light. So let's go ahead and get a picture of this. I absolutely love it. I couldn't be happier with how it turned out. I love the feminine vibe that it's got with all the curves and the colors. And it looks like I'm going to get some company with some dogs that are coming out. Anyway, I hope you guys try this. This was a fun, challenging um, project, and I loved every minute of it. And I'm really glad you came along on this for my birthday present <laughs> that I do for myself every year. I'm glad you came along on the journey with me and I would love to see yours. In fact, I will, those of you who don't have social media, I'll drop my uh, email into the description. Email me pictures of what you come up with and those of you that are on Instagram and Facebook, just tag me and I will find them. Anyway, thank you so much for coming along with me on this. And we will see you in the next video. And until then, go get muddy. Ooh.